Okay, welcome to our next decimal lesson. We have learned how to add decimals to the hundredths place and how to subtract decimals to the hundredths place by lining up those decimal points. So for today, our lesson is adding decimals to the thousandths place which is exactly the same as adding decimals to the hundredths place, except for you're doing it one step further out. So let's look at this. Let's look at our problem, story problem for today. It says, the table shows where most of the Earth's water is located. What, per, what total percent of Earth's water is found in ice caps, glaciers, permanent snow, groundwater, and lakes? All right, so we've got ice caps is right here. Glaciers, let's find our glaciers. Okay, glaciers and permanent snow, that's all right here. Okay, so ice caps, glaciers, permanent snow, groundwater is right here, and lakes. So it's saying what total percent in all of those things. So what do we need to do? We obviously need to add them together. So we've got three numbers that we need to line up. Let's start with the first one. One and 74 hundredths, okay? So we got that one. Groundwater, one and seven tenths. Do not do this, right? No, we're not lining up the right like we normally do with addition. With decimals, the big difference is you've got to line up those decimals in the same column right? Even when it leaves gaps like this, we'll fill those in later with some zeros. And lakes, we have 13 thousandths, which if we line up the decimal, it puts us there. Okay, do you see how important it is to stay very, very neat? Messy math is going to make mistakes when you're dealing with decimals. It's not a hard chapter. It's just a chapter where you need to be very intentional about being neat and keeping your columns all lined up. Otherwise, right here where these spaces are, it gets a little bit, there's room for error. So let's put some zeros in there to keep everything lined up. So you have the tenths, the hundredths, let's put a zero in the thousandths place. You have the tenths, so let's put a zero in the hundredth and the thousandths place. That way this all lines up, everything has its space, and we can add them up first. We're gonna bring down that decimal right there. Okay, so we've, we're going to add the thousandths place, the tenth, the hundredths place, the tenths. We're going to carry that over to the ones place. And our answer should be three and 453 thousandths. Let's try a couple examples. All right, so because we are kind of switching around our order, what I want you to do on this lesson is simply add them up. For instance, if on your homework or your morning work, it's saying things like use rounding to estimate, then determine the sum. Don't do any of these type of instructions. Because we're doing things out of order, I just simply want you to add or subtract the decimals without any of the extra stuff, without any of the base blocks, without any of the estimating. Just simply do the addition and subtraction. So let's go down and do these ones down here that you actually have to align because really that is the hardest part of this lesson. All right, let's go all the way to 21 and try that one. Okay, so we have 902 and 4 tenths. 902 and 4 tenths plus 391 thousandths. So now how are we going to do that? Look at that decimal point is right there. The decimal point has to stay lined up in this spot right here. Keep it right there. Okay, so you have 391 thousandths. So I'm gonna go way over here and do 300 
91 thousandths, so that my decimal point stays there. And 12 and 3 thousandths. So we have 12 and 3 thousandths. Lots of opportunity for error unless you get those decimal points lined up and let everything else fall where it does. Let's put in some zeros here so that it's nice and even. Okay, now every spot is filled. And if you would like to use graph paper on decimals, that would be a wise move if you wanna bring in graph paper if you feel like that helps you. So let's do some addition here. Three plus one is four. Nine plus zero plus zero. Four plus three, bring down that decimal. Two plus two, one, nine. Your answer is 914 and 794 thousandths. If you look here, again, we get into some letters with our numbers, with our mass. We're getting into a little bit of pre-algebra. W plus this number, what is that? When W equals five and six tenths. Well, if W equals five and six tenths, let's just cross the W out and replace it with five and six tenths. All right, now you can actually do that. Five and six tenths plus seven and 825 thousandths. And you just add that up. All right, so you should be able to go ahead and do that. Remember, you are going to be careful to make sure you are on 10-6. Check the pages for your morning work and your homework that you need to do for adding decimals to the nearest thousandth.